everyone, welcome to another Procreate tutorial. This is the drawing that we will be completing in today's video, this fun holiday bulldog with some cute antlers with lights on them. This is a lot of fun to draw. I can't wait to see how everyone's turns out. They're all going to be a little bit different, but so cute. So if you're new here, I mainly post Procreate tutorials. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. I also offer extra tutorials over on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, I have it linked in the description below. Uh, before we get started, the only thing you will need to complete today's drawing is the color palette that I used. It's also linked in the description below. It's totally free to download. Just download the file onto your iPad, double tap it to open it, or click on it and click open in Procreate, and it will automatically import the color palette into Procreate so that you can use the same colors as you follow along with the video today. I will also post the canvas dimensions, color profile, and layers needed on the screen and in the description below so that you can use those to set up your canvas. So take a minute to get everything ready and then come back and we'll get started. Okay, so this is the color palette that we will be working with today. Yours should look probably exactly like this unless I add one more color here that I might need as I go. But otherwise, this is what we are working with. We will just go ahead and get started. Let's first set our background color, which is going to be this bright red, but we're going to do that by going to our layer menu, clicking on this background color layer to open up our color selector and select the first color on the first row of the color palette to set it to this red color. Let's just go back to our layer menu, make sure we're on layer one. And now we'll just get started straight away on our dog. So we're not going to sketch, we're just going to use symmetry and go straight into drawing him. We'll just draw each of like the pieces on a different layer. So like his head, his ears, his like snout-ish area, his eyes, all that will be on separate layers so we can adjust them as we go if we need to. So we can resize things, we can reshape things. So. No worries if yours isn't perfect right away, we can kind of work on that, but we are going to skip um, sketching it, I guess. So let's just go ahead and again, we're on layer one, we'll turn on symmetry. So under our gear icon, under canvas, click to turn on the drawing guide, click edit drawing guide, set it to symmetry. You should see a vertical line here. If you do not, you can just click on the options down here and set it to vertical and then go ahead and click done. And now on our layer menu, this layer that we're on should say assisted. If it doesn't, just click on it and turn on drawing assist so that symmetry is turned on for this layer. We're going to grab our first color on the second row of the color palette now and our monoline brush under the calligraphy tab at about 30% and we will just go ahead and get started. So essentially a good ways down the canvas, maybe like a little just above halfway so if this is like halfway, we'll go like a little bit above that. I am just going to start and I always draw on the left side, but I'll try to draw on the right side so you can see it better. So I'll go a little bit above halfway, start right on the center line, kind of go down and then round a corner. Again, we'll smooth all this out, but then we'll kind of go down at a slight angle and then kind of round back in towards the middle. Like so, this is just the start of our face. Let's go ahead and fill that in and then go ahead and smooth things out. So yeah, so I might round the sides a little bit more. Just try to draw it kind of fast to get some nice smooth lines. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm just going to tilt it nice and rounded at the bottom. Okay, nice and kind of rounded at the top as well till they connect. So we have something kind of like this now. So pretty quick, easy shape to start with. Let's see, let's first just grab it with our arrow tool on uniform. Make sure the snapping is turned on in the bottom left. That's going to be very important as we move things around with our symmetry. We need them to stay directly in the center. So from left to right, you'll see this vertical yellow line that shows that we're directly on the center of our canvas for symmetry and whatnot. 
So I'm just going to move this up on uniform. I'm going to downsize it a little bit. Move it back to the center. So I want a good amount of room at the top for our antlers and then a little bit of room at the bottom for our sweater. Maybe we don't need quite as much. So I'll move it a little closer to the bottom there. Like so, maybe about like that is good. Okay, resize it on freeform if you need to as well. I might make mine a little bit taller. That is where we'll start for now. Again, we can always move stuff around more later if we need to. So if we go into drawing our antlers and we don't have enough room, we can resize things and stuff. So let's go with this for now. One more adjustment I want to make now with my pen again is that the bottom of his uh, face is going to be a little bit more rounded. So I'm just going to start a little ways in like on the right side here and just kind of make a kind of more curved line towards the center. Not like that. It should be one smooth curve, kind of like so and then fill that in. I'm going to smooth it out. Okay, so that just kind of gives the illusion that he's got like a little bigger chin. Okay, might resize him a little bit more, put him back on my center line, and we will move on. So next up, let's just go straight into the ears. Those are fun to draw. So on our layer menu, add a new layer. Drag the new layer below our head, Click on it and turn on drawing assist so the symmetry is active on this layer. So on our color palette, all of our colors are kind of split into groups. So like my first five on my second row next to the one that we just used. So this first one on the second row was this base. All the next four after that are variations of this that we'll use when we go to add our texture and shadows and stuff. And then our next set also has five colors. So these are the ear colors and the like spot colors. So the spot on his face is going to be this kind of orangish color also. So this is again, the base color will be the sixth color on the second row. And then the colors after that will be the variations of it. So grab the sixth one on the second row and we will get started on the ears. Same brush, same size. Okay, so right kind of where this little corner is at the top here, I'm just gonna start a little bit above that on my head. So maybe right about here, and again, I'll just kind of go off. I'll kind of round a little bit. Maybe a little bit more of a round so that we kind of head downwards now. So now we're just going to go down at a slight angle a little ways. We're going to kind of round down from there. So we're going like almost straight down. We'll kind of curve a little bit like so get a nice long line there and then at the bottom here we'll do a good curve so that we're kind of heading back up we're still a little ways from my face here so there's a little gap in between the ear and the face and then once we get towards the top we'll just kind of round back in connect that at the top so it's pretty skinny at the top there and then fill that in okay pretty rough shape let's clean it up um maybe make them a little bit bigger we'll just kind of see so i'm just gonna tilt my canvas as i go to clean things up Okay, so now I have two nice smooth shapes and I think that those look good, but make them like thicker or thinner in areas if you need to. I would say his the end of his ear is like maybe halfway through my face. I think that's good. It could be even a little bit shorter than that. That's fine too. Um, nothing too long. So that's our base shape. So again, we'll add all of our texture and stuff later, but let's go ahead and just since we're here, we'll add the pink undersides of the ear. So they're folded over so we can see a little bit of the inside of the ear also. So on our layer menu, add a new layer, drag the new layer below our ear layer that we just created, click on it and turn on drawing assist. Grab the first of our like pinkish colors, which start as the fifth color on the last row. Same brush. And I'm just going to go like roughly halfway through my ear here, make a little kind of slanted line, um, going like down and to the left. And then I'll just kind of create a shape behind my ear to fill that in. Beautiful. Okay, so the ears are done. Let's go ahead and move on now to our face. So we'll first make the little like snout or like the little jowls, I guess, next to his mouth and stuff. 
and then we will add the eyeballs, the eyebrows, the teeth, all that good stuff. So let's just go to our layer menu. Let's add a new layer at the very top. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. Grab our first of those colors, which is the first one on the third row. Same brush, same size. We are going to go about halfway right in the smack dab center of his face here. Start about there, right on my center line. We'll kind of curve downward. Let's do a better curve. It's going to curve the entire time. So mine kind of started out flat and then went curved. I'm going to start over and just kind of curve more quickly like that. Okay, that's the start. From here, basically, kind of right where we created his chin here, we want to kind of cover up this little break here. So I'm just going to kind of go right next to it. You can go like right on it, right next to it, kind of whatever. Kind of cover that up. Loop back around so I go off the head just a little bit. And then we loop back in. Kind of like this. Okay, then we leave a little bit of room for his mouth. So like we go maybe two thirds of the way back up into our shape here. Maybe not even that much, maybe like halfway through so from like this point to this point, maybe about halfway through. I will create another kind of curved line going this way towards the middle. Just a slight curve there. Okay, let's fill that in and see how it looks. So now we can kind of smooth some of this out again. Okay, I feel like I don't want them to hang off his face so much. I'm going to grab my eraser tool even, which is also set to the monoline brush. And I might kind of just skinny or like kind of, you know, bring this up a little bit more. And maybe make it a little thinner towards the bottom here. And then I'll go back in with my brush to smooth things out again. Okay, so now it looks something like this. But do what works for you. This is looking good. Okay, while we're here, let's just go ahead and add the details to our little kind of snout area. So on our layer menu, let's add a new layer. Click on it and turn on drawing assist again. So symmetry is on. And we are going to grab our black color now. The third one on the top row. Same monoline brush at 30%. And let's just start on his nose. So a little bit down from the top of this area here in the middle. I will start there. I will go out and then curve down a little bit. So we're, so we're at like a slight angle like this. So then we'll go kind of around like this. I make like the little, a little loop in. And then a loop to the middle. So something like this. Fill that in. And that is our nose again. Let's kind of smooth it out a little bit with either your pen or your eraser. If it got too big, feel free to use that as well. Okay, that looks good. It's a little small. I'm just going to make it a little bigger with my arrow tool on uniform and increase the size a little bit. Recenter it on my line. Make sure it's still kind of positioned nicely a little distance from the top of my previous layer there. Like so. So that looks better. Okay, now we're going to make like the line down and the mouth area. So same layer, same brush, same size. Let's just go straight down on our symmetry line. Pull that down until it turns perfectly straight and then touch your finger on the screen to make it perfectly vertical. So we get a nice vertical line there. Okay, then from this point, I'm just going to kind of follow this curve that we created on our previous layer. So something kind of like that. Okay, I want it to get a little thicker in the center, so I'm just going to start again, kind of a little higher up, and kind of work my way back in. So it just gets a little thicker in the center there. And then right where these two lines meet, I'm just going to kind of do a slight curve, like so, nothing too crazy. So that kind of helps with our mouth. Our teeth will be sticking out from this. Now, same layer, same brush, same size. We're going to make like the little dots for his whiskers. He doesn't have any whiskers today, but we do have our little dots. So kind of just right in this like cheekish area. I will just make a few kind of random dots, something like this. I ended up doing six of them. Okay, now let's go ahead and make his teeth. That's a nice easy one. So on our layer menu, let's add a new layer. Drag our new layer below the black layer that we just created. 
click on it and turn on drawing assist and grab our white color, the second one on the top row, same brush, same size. Right towards the end of this line here, I'm gonna start there. I'm going to go up and back down two straight lines, hold them down so that they turn perfectly straight. You can click this triangle or polyline button at the top, whatever popped up to adjust them if you need to adjust the lines at all. Um, you can zoom out a little, I might make them a little bit bigger. Then grab our pen tool again and I will just fill them in with my pen like so. And that is it for his teeth and this whole kind of area here for now. Next up, let's go ahead and make his eyes. So to do that, we'll go to our layer menu. We'll add a new layer. We'll drag the new layer below our snout slash jowls layer, this darker cream one right above our face layer. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. And we're still on our white color, the second one on the top row, still on our monoline brush at 30%. Okay. Symmetries turn on. We're just going to go kind of right in this area here. Our eye is going to be tucked slightly behind this piece here. That's why we drew it on a layer below it. So I'm just going to create a nice circle shape, hold it down until it turns perfectly smooth, and then touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle. Let that go. Click the circle button at the top. And now we can kind of adjust them a little bit. So I want them to be a pretty good size, nothing huge, but nothing tiny. So if you need to adjust the size at all, just make sure to touch in between two of the blue dots. If you touch on one, it'll like stretch it out into an ellipse. We want it to be a circle. So you can click the circle button at the top if you need to, to reset it. But yeah, just touch in between two of them to resize it. And then you can also move it around. So if you just touch somewhere outside the shape, you can kind of move them. So I'm just gonna place mine, like I said, like nestled a little bit underneath his little like jowl area here. That's what I'm gonna call it. Again, good size, just kind of wherever you think looks nice. And then go ahead and fill them in. Okay, so now we'll just go straight into making our pupils. So third color on the top row, just switch our color, but same layer, same brush. Same thing, we're gonna just draw a circle inside now, hold it down until it turns perfectly smooth, touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle. Same thing, let it go, click the circle button at the top and you can move it around and resize it if you need to. I just wanna make it pretty much centered on my white circle and taking up a good amount of it. You know, we want a good amount showing around the outside but nothing too crazy, so let's maybe set it there, fill those in. Those look good. I have a little ghost of a line here that I'm just gonna zoom in and fill in with my brush. You might have one too. Okay. So those are my eyeballs now. They look good. They look kind of crazy, but don't worry, they'll look normal once we get everything else in place. Okay, and now we're going to make the eyebrows. Those are going to be on a new layer just so that we can move them around and stuff if we need to. So on our layer menu, let's add a new layer right above the one we were just on. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. And same black color, same brush, same size. So I'm going to start just like right up from the left corner of his eyeball, up a good ways. Draw a line going straight down and to the right. Hold that down until it turns perfectly straight. I kind of extend it just about as far as the right side of his eyeball. But you can click the edit line button at the top to adjust it if you need to. Okay, then from this point at the front, we'll just kind of go up and to the right just a smidge, hold that down as well, adjust it as well. And then from this point, I'm going to go kind of like straight back, stop short, and then go down to connect it. So we get kind of like a weird little shape like that. Okay, so then you can adjust these however you wish with either your eraser, your pen, or again, it's on its own layer, so we can grab it with our arrow tool. We can like move it around. Again, keep it centered on our center yellow line. So once you have a good set of eyebrows, that's almost it for our face. We're just gonna do one more thing. So on our layer menu, let's add a new layer. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. Grab our white color again, the second one in the top row. Same monoline brush. I'm gonna set my brush to 100%. And I am just going to tap kind of like in the center of the eyeball. Grab my arrow tool and I'm going to move it up and to the right so that it's on the top right corner of both eyes. Like that. Okay, then that's it for my eyeballs, my eyebrows, my teeth, all that. 
So I am going to, let's see, we'll snap some layers together. So our eyeball eyebrows and little white dots, snap those to one layer once you like the way that they look. And then our teeth and our mouth layer, we'll snap those together also. Okay, so that just kind of helps condense some of our layers. And now we can continue on. We still need to make the sweater and the antlers, and then we will be able to get started on all of the textures and shadows and everything to really complete our drawing. So let's just go ahead and add the sweater. So we'll add a new layer, drag it all the way to the bottom of our layer menu. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. Same monoline brush. Let's drop our size down to 30 again. And we'll grab our first green color, the eighth one on the last row. Okay, I'm going to start on the right side here, just a little in from the side of his face. And I'm going to make a small kind of curved line. And then from this point, I'm going to make like a bigger curved line kind of going off the bottom of our canvas, like so. It's not connected at the top, so let's go ahead and connect it. So just from this point to the center and fill it in again make any other adjustments, do any other smoothing, but that is his sweater. Okay, lastly, let's go ahead and do our antlers. So on our layer menu, add another new layer right above our sweater is fine, so we're behind all of our other ear and face layers. So, new layer, click on it and turn on drawing assist and grab our first antler color, which is the fourth one on the top row. Same monoline brush at 30%. Okay, let's start here. I'm going to start just kind of right where this ear is. I'm just going to draw like a slightly curved line towards the center. I'm going to create a shape to fill in, so I'm going to draw down on my ear and across the top of my head and fill that in. Smooth it out if you need to. Okay, so that's the base for our little antler headband that he's wearing. Okay, so this is just like I talked about earlier. As I am here, I can see I don't have nearly enough room. My sweater is nice and big, so I think I'm just going to move the whole thing down a little bit so I have more room on the top of my head for my antlers. So on my layer menu, I'm just going to select every single layer. So I'm going to select the top one, slide right on all the others, including my sweater layer. Arrow tool, I'm just going to drag it straight down, keeping it on that yellow line until I have a little bit more room on the top now, so that looks better. I think I will go with that and see how that goes. So if you, if your sweater like didn't have as much extra room as mine did, the other option is to maybe decrease your head shape. So if you had to do that, what you can do is go to your layer menu, select all of your head and ear layers. So I'll find like my ear layer, slide right on all the other ones arrow tool on free form and you could just kind of like shorten his head a little bit. I didn't shorten my headband, but you could just grab the headband and then move it down on your center yellow line. So that's another option to create a little bit more room if you need to. But I think this is probably good and we can still resize some more later. But that being said, I'm just going to go back to my antler layer now. Still with drawing assist turned on, same brown color, the fourth one on the top row, monoline brush at 30%. Okay, and I'm just going to start kind of right by his ear here, making a nice kind of straight line going out and to the right. Kind of hold that down. Going to make another one kind of right next to it. Hold that down as well. Okay, then we'll kind of make our pieces coming off. So right here, I'm just going to make a nice kind of skinny curved line. From here, I'll kind of make another one. I'll make another one maybe a little higher up on this line. Like this. And then maybe we'll make one a little further down. So I'll kind of connect back and then I'll start a little lower and make like another one down here. Fill all of that in and then kind of see how that looks. I think that looks great. Go ahead and smooth any of it out if you need to. It still does look like a little bit small. So I think I'm going to, I don't know, make my head a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go back to all my head layers. And another thing that we can do to help us kind of move things around. So now that we have everything in place, if we need to do any more moving around, let's just put all of our head layers in a group. 
So on my layer menu, I have one layer at the top selected with my teeth. I'll slide right on all my other head layers. So just my antlers and sweater are left out. And then I will just click group. And now they're all in a group together. So they're still in separate layers, but we can decrease this group here, click the arrow to minimize it. And then with our group selected with our arrow tool, you can move it all around at once. So I might just put it on uniform and just kind of downsize his whole head, place it still on top of his sweater. And then maybe I'll go back to my antler layer, make that a little bit bigger, a little skinnier though. Place it on his head and kind of see how that looks. I think that looks a little bit better. So again, adjust it all as necessary. Make sure, just triple check that everything's still on its yellow line because that's gonna come in handy when we go to shade things later. I might grab my sweater and make it a little bit wider, kind of recenter it, and then I might fill in any gaps that I created there when doing so. But that looks good. So this is where we're at now. I might still thicken up my antlers just a little bit, so I think they're good in terms of just size, but now I'm gonna go back in and just kind of thicken them up a little bit, actually, to kind of help create the illusion that they're a little bit bigger. So I'll make some of the little pieces bigger, thicker. And that kind of helps like just give the illusion that they're a little bit bigger as well. Okay, so that looks good. So make sure everything looks kind of in proportion to you. And then we can go ahead and move on. So now we're going to start on all of our textures, shadows, highlights, and everything that we will do. We'll just kind of do them one by one, layer by layer. But we'll do a very similar process for each one. So let's just go ahead and start at the bottom. Let's start with our sweater. So on our layer menu with our sweater layer selected, we'll click on it and turn on alpha lock. Okay, so we are going to grab our next color in line for our sweater, which is the ninth one on the bottom row. Slightly darker green than our original sweater color was. And then the brush that we're going to use for all of this is going to be the Flix brush under the spray paints category. So find that. I'm going to set the opacity lower to like 50%. And then the size will stick around somewhere between five and 10, depending on our piece and what we're doing. Let's set it to 10 for now. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of drag this all over the sweater. It just creates a little light texture. You'll barely be able to see it. We can maybe do a little bit more, but that's just our like starting texture. Then we'll grab our next color line, the darker green, the 10th one on the last row. And let's lower our size a little bit to maybe like 5%. And now we'll kind of create some shadows with this. So let's go right under his head and his jowls. So since the opacity is set to 50, it's going to do a little bit lighter of a color. But then when you layer it, it gets darker. So we'll just kind of pick up our brush and go back over it a few times. But this just helps create more variation. So it's not just one thick layer of color. It's like multiple layers stacked on top of each other. Okay, so that's kind of all a shadow underneath his head. Then kind of where these two pieces come together, we're gonna to create like a little turtleneck almost, or maybe it's a hoodie and he has a hood behind him. But underneath that, we're gonna create a shadow. So kind of right where these lines come together, we're just gonna pretend that there's like a curve right here. And we will just kind of follow that curve and symmetry is still turned on, so we only really have to do the one side. But as you can see, we'll just kind of pick up and go over it a few times to create a nice shadow right there. Okay, so something kind of like that. And then to make it look even better, we're going to add a highlight, and to do that, we are going to use a new layer set to a different layer style. So we'll go to our layer menu, we'll add a new layer right above this one. 
click on it and set it to a clipping mask. Let's not turn on symmetry for this one, but we are going to change the layer style. So click this N to open up our options here and we'll drag this layer style up to add. Okay, we'll switch our color back to our first green color, the eighth one on the last row. Same brush at 5%. And we are just going to go through and like on the edges, create a highlight. So like I'll start with his like right shoulder here. So I just kind of go over that a good amount a few times picking up my brush to get a nice highlight. I'll do the same thing on the left shoulder. So we didn't do symmetry this time, even though we're doing the same thing, but just to kind of give some more variation so it's not identical. Okay, and then same thing kind of through the middle of this area here. We'll kind of add a little bit of a highlight as well. Just kind of through here, kind of next to our shadows or in between our shadows there as best we can. Okay, and then maybe a little bit just down here, kind of where the front of his body would be. We'll just add a teeny bit there as well. Okay, so that just gives us some nice variation on our guy here on his sweater. So that's essentially what we're going to do for every single piece. So we'll just go up the layers, do the same thing. We'll add texture first. We'll add this last layer set to add, to add some highlights. Um, the only difference being on his face when we add his spot, that'll be a little bit different. And then we'll add some lines to him and the lights to the antlers and then the finishing touch to our background of our stripes. So a few more steps obviously, but let's just keep on going. Next up, let's just go to our antlers because we have them next on our layer menu. So click on this layer first and turn on alpha lock. So we'll draw right on this layer. So we have a lot more colors for our antlers. There's just a lot more depth to them. So on our top row of our color palette, this fourth color was our base color. So we have a slightly darker one that we'll add all over, a slightly lighter one that we'll add all over, and then two really darker ones to add some shadows. Then we'll add our highlights at the very end with an add layer. So let's just grab our fifth color on the top row of the color palette. Same brush. Let's set our size up a little bit to like 10%. Symmetry is turned on. So I'm just going to do the one side, add some good texture, maybe pick it up one time and add again. So again, if you zoom in, you'll see the texture forming. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with our next color. Sixth one on the top row, a slightly lighter. We'll just again, kind of add a quick layer of this pick up, maybe do one more. So that just again, add some good texture. Okay. Now for our shadows, so let's grab our next color in line. Seventh one on the top row. Let's lower our brush size to five and we will start doing our shadow. So let's start on the band here, right by his head. We'll kind of add a good shadow there again. I'm just going to do the one side. I just kind of like on the lower half of this band, pick it up and go over it a few times. Okay, you'll see a shadow forming there. We'll make it darker soon with our next color. But now let's just kind of focus on like the lower sides of these. So again, I'm just picking it up quite a few times and going over it. Maybe like along the edge of this vertical piece here, or, you know, the branching off point. Okay, same thing on this one. We'll do like the lower side or the left side. Over it a few times. Um, let's see, we'll do maybe this side of the top one, the right side for me, and the lower side of this one. So the right side again. Again, picking it up in between a few times. Okay. So that should give some good starting shadows. Now let's switch to our next color, eighth one on the top row, and just kind of do the same thing again. Maybe a little bit like keeping it closer to everything, like closer to the smaller side. So like here, I'll just do a few good layers across the bottom pretty lightly. And then these ones, again, we'll just kind of stick a little closer to the edge, just add a deeper shadow right there. But again, picking up my brush a few good times. Create some good depth there. Okay. So then that is it for our shadows. 
and now we're going to do our highlights. So on our layer menu, let's add a new layer right above this. Click on it and set it to a clipping mask. No symmetry. We'll click the N on this layer and set it to add. We'll grab our original brown color, the fourth one on the top row, for this highlight. Typically we would hit like the top sides, like the edges for a highlight, but we're not going to do that this time. We are going to stick kind of towards the centers of each of our pieces to make them look kind of like 3D. So let's maybe lower our brush size even a little bit to like 3% and we're just going to stick right in the centers kind of. So I'm going to pick my brush up a few times, but we'll just go right through the center of each of our pieces here. So some of our edges will be darker. Some of them will just be kind of closer to our base color. That's okay. That just helps with our kind of variation. But yeah, we're never going all the way to the edge, just, just in the middles. Until we get to our band, we'll do a little bit across the top. So just maybe one or two times there. Then we'll move on to our other one. Again, I just leave symmetry off just to just to help give us some more variation so they're not completely identical. And then also just in case like we ended up off of our symmetry a lot, a little bit, which happens even when we try to stay on our yellow line, it still ends up that we end up kind of off of it sometimes. So this just helps make sure we're hitting the right spots. So we'll do a little bit of that for our antlers. Okay, that looks great. Okay, next up, let's see, we have our group of face layers. So let's open that up and we'll just go up from the bottom again. So we'll start with our inner earpiece. Click on it and turn on alpha lock. This one we're only gonna do shadows on since it's um, just under our ears. So this is our little pink piece under our ears. So our base color for that was the fifth one on the last row. Let's do our next two after that. So we'll start with the sixth one on the last row. Same brush, let's just up it to like 5% since we have a small area here. Symmetry is turned on. I'm gonna do one, two good layers there. Then we'll grab our next color even darker, the seventh one on the last row. And we will stick this just really close to um, where our ear folds over. So just right here, a good few times, picking it up as I go. So nothing too crazy for that layer. That's pretty much it. Next up is our main ears. So on our layer menu, click on this layer, turn on alpha lock. Drawing assist is turned on. Okay, we have all of our colors now for these, for the ears. So starting with our sixth color on the second row, that was our base color. The next one is going to be our first just all over color, our second all over color, and then two shadow colors, just like we did for our antlers. Then we'll add the add layer for our highlights. So we'll start with the sixth color on the bottom row. We will have our brush set to like 10%. Again, symmetry is turned on, so we'll just do one good layer here, pick it up and do another one. You should be able to see a little bit of texture there. Let's grab our next color in line, the lighter one, eighth one on the second row. Again, all over a little bit. Okay, now our shadows. So grab our ninth color on the second row, same brush, let's just lower to 5%. And we're just going to do the shadows on the inner part right here. So this is where our shadow would form. So I'm just gonna kind of start here, really start laying it on right at the base there and then following this inner edge right above like where our pink part is. So a good few times there, picking it up many times as I go. Okay. Then we'll grab our darker color 10th one on the second row and just kind of same thing, just go over that a good bit, trying to stay like really close to the edge to really darken it up there, especially picking my brush up many times to get it there really good. Okay, so this is what our ears should look like now. And now we just need the highlight. So let's go to our layer menu, add a new layer right above this one, click on it and set it to a clipping mask, click the N and set it to add. We're going to start with our base color again. So that was the sixth one on the second row, same brush at 5% and we are just going to add a nice highlight to the top and kind of like right side of the ears. So I'll pick that up a few times. It's nice and bright, but that is cute. I like that. 
So don't overdo it. This one obviously has symmetry turned off, so we'll do the same thing to the other side. Beautiful. So those are nice and fun. I like the way that looks. Okay. What's next? Our face. Okay, so we're just going to add our spot first on a new layer. So on our layer menu, let's add a new layer. We're going to set this layer to a clipping mask. So click on it and turn on clipping mask. Normal layer though, just a normal layer. We're still on our base color for our ear color, which is the sixth color on the second row. Let's just switch back to our monoline brush though under the calligraphy tab. And right about like kind of next to his eyebrow here, I'm going to start outside of his face, draw in kind of towards this part, go off, connect it to the beginning, fill that in. So that's just kind of our spot. So smooth that out a little bit if you wish to make it as big or as small as you would like. Okay. So that is our spot around his eye. Now we want to kind of blend it into our face a little bit more so it's not so just starkly different. So we're going to grab our smudge tool here, set our smudge tool to the fine hairbrush under materials. Okay, I have that set to like 30%. And we are just going to go around kind of following the same direction. And I'm just going to smudge these together. So I'm just gonna go back and forth across it like this until they kind of smudge together with this nice texture that kind of looks like fur. All the way around and you can kind of like push the lighter color in in some places. So start out there, push it in, and then you can push the darker color out in some places. So start there and kind of push it out. That just kind of helps like rough it up a little bit. But yeah, just go over the line quite a few times to make sure it's, you can't really see the line anymore. And then just as it turns, I just kind of turn with it. So we're just always going like perpendicular to our edge there. So then wherever it comes together in the middle here, I'll just leave that alone underneath my little jowls. But then when we come down here again, I'll just change my direction to go against it. Like so. Okay, so that looks nice and fun. Do as much of that as you need to to get it nice and blended. And now we will do all the same stuff that we were doing before. So let's go back to our main head layer. Click on it and turn on alpha lock. Drawing assist is turned on. We're first gonna lay down our texture. So our base color was the first one on the second row. So we have a darker one and a lighter one for all over and then two darker ones for shadows. So let's start with our second one on the second row switch back to our flix brush under the spray paints category and set to 10 percent we'll do this all over so our head's pretty big so take your time go all over it at least once with this color and then our lighter color third one on the second row and we'll do that again at least once all over okay now for our shadows, fourth one on the second row, drop our brush down to five, and we will add our shadows first under our jowls here. So I'll go over that a good few times, picking my brush up as I go. Symmetry is turned on so you can see it on the other side as well. Okay, we'll do it on the outside as well. So on the right side here, let's go all the way through. So like right around our eyes even, even though we can't see it on this side. We'll add a similar shadow on this darker color when we get to that. Okay. We'll maybe add a little bit of a shadow kind of like right here where our ear is. Nothing too crazy. Okay, let's just keep on going with our next darker color, the fifth one on the second row. So same thing, we'll just follow those same shadows, picking our brush up a few times to just darken them. All up around it, a little bit by the ear. And the main thing we're also going to do with this is add a shadow around the eyeball. So I'm gonna lower my size a little further to like 3%. And we're just gonna focus on the left eye for now. It will, you know, with symmetry turned on, draw it under here, but we'll do this eye when we get to this 
layer. So I'm just going to go around my eyeball with this, following the circular motion. Pick it up, do it quite a few times, really darken it up. So I'm just kind of working on one section, picking it up a few times, then I'll kind of move to the next one so I can just kind of use that same motion, picking it up in between. Okay, so that just kind of helps our eyeball look like it's, you know, kind of embedded in our head. So that looks great. And then now we're just going to do basically the same thing for our little patch here. So on our layer menu, we'll find our patch layer that's a clipping mask. Click on it and turn on alpha lock. Okay, so same thing with our ears. We did this already. So it's these last four colors on the second row. So we'll start with the fourth to last. So this seventh one on the second row. Same brush. Let's increase it back up to 10. And again, we'll go all over our little patch here once or twice. Get some texture started. Grab our next color, the lighter one, eighth one on the second row. And again, go over it once or twice. Okay, and now we have our shadow colors. So ninth one on the second row, drop our brush to five. And let's first go around our little piece of our nose here. So to create a shadow there. So with alpha lock turned on, we're only drawing on this shape that we have laid down. So like, even if I draw over here, nothing happens with this color. And you know, we don't want that because this color would be way, way, way too dark over here. Okay, so again, around the nose and then maybe a little bit under where the ear is up here. Okay, then we'll switch to our darkest color, 10th one on the second row. And again, we'll start around our nose. And next to our ear, and then primarily around the eyeball again. So we'll drop down to 3%, and we'll just, again, really darken this up right around the eyeball, all the way around in a circular motion. Picking it up tons and tons to get it really, really dark. Okay, so then that looks nice, nice and embedded into our face. Lastly, for our face layer, we need our like highlight layer. So we'll go to our layer menu. We'll add a new layer right above this clipping mask. Click on it and also set it to a clipping mask. So even though it's above our other clipping mask, it is still clipped to our main head shape here and it's above our other one. So it will affect this clipping mask with our spot on it as well. So that's exactly what we're going for. So click the end on this layer and set it to add. Okay, so what we're going to do though is grab our base color for our main head shape, the first one on the second row. And we're going to use it all over, including on our darker spot layer, but we're just gonna have to be very light there. So let's start with like our main face layer. I'm going to go around the edges of it on the left side here, picking up my brush multiple times to get a nice highlight. We'll set our size back to 5%. Okay, I'll do the same thing on this bottom right kind of corner of the draw, if you can see a little bit there. Okay, I'll maybe go a little bit across his chin even, just to add a little bit of lightness there. Barely, just like very, very lightly. And then let's go across the top of his head a little bit, mainly staying in this lighter area. Okay, then when we get to our spot area, I'm going to do the same thing, but just very lightly, just kind of pick it up a couple times, nothing too crazy. Same thing on the right side of his face here, just a few quick little pieces of it. We don't want it to get too, like, weird looking, but it looks pretty good, actually. I kind of maybe am over-exaggerating. I might go down the face a little bit, just in the center there. That gives us some nice highlights on his face. Okay, and then lastly is just our little jowls layer. So, same thing that we've been doing. Let's first just click on it and turn on alpha lock. So now we have our first four colors on the bottom row. Um, we just don't have a darker shadow color for this one. We just don't really need it. So we just have 
our base color, a darker and lighter one for all over, and then a darker one for a shadow. So let's grab our second color on the last row. We are on our layer with alpha lock turned on, drawing assist is still turned on, flix brush at 10%. And we'll just go all over this once or twice, like so. Switch to our third color on the bottom row, and again, all over it once or twice. Then we'll grab our shadow color, fourth one on the bottom row, and we will lower our size to like 5% and just kind of focus on like the bottom sides of this. So picking it up quite a few times, just staying to like the bottom and inner edge here, like so, nothing too crazy. Oh, symmetry's turned on, so you only have to do it really the one time. And then, you know, we'll maybe go like around our nose even a little bit, just like right under our nose. Add a little shadow just kind of right next to it and under it there. That's it for that. And now we add our add layer. So on our layer menu, new layer. Click on it, set it to a clipping mask. Click the end and turn it to add. And go back to our base color for this layer, which is the first one on the last row. Same brush at 5%. And let's just go across the top and the right side here. Just a little bit, this one's pretty bright. And then we'll kind of do the same thing on the left side. Just a little bit, like so. Now that is it for all of our highlights, shadows, textures, all of that. So that's a big part of everything done and out of the way. We just need to add the lights the black outlines and the background. So let's go ahead and start with our black outlines because that's kind of a big piece of this. So let's go to our layer menu, let's add a layer at the very top. So I'm gonna find the top of my group here, add a layer right above that. Brand new layer, grab our black color, the third one on the top row, and we're going to switch to our dry ink brush under the inking category. The opacity is set to 100%, the size is gonna be set to 10%. And we are just going to go around and kind of add some like rough outlines to this. You can turn them off in the end if you don't like them. Maybe you like him just like this. He looks great like this. I added the outlines and I liked them a little bit better, but I think he looks great as is as well. So you can decide which one you like better. But I'm gonna start just kind of maybe on the antler here. And I'm just going to do some really rough outlines. So I'm gonna do pieces. They're kind of kind of break off. You can have some gaps where you see the background or some places where you go like over your color. That's all good. So yeah, so just pretty rough like this. Okay, so like that's what I'll do for the antlers. Okay, so then around like the left ear here. Again, just kind of loosely following the shape of it. And then like the head, a little bit of the ear inside. Just basically everywhere we've drawn. Um, I won't go around the eyeballs, I don't think. Or maybe not the teeth, but pretty much everywhere else. Okay, so then same thing like for our sweater here, 
far on the edges, but also like kind of follow this line on the inside where our shadow is pretty lightly, just to kind of add another like outline around that part. So kind of something like this. Um, let's see what it looks like around the eye, but I'm guessing that's going to be a no, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, don't hate it around the eye, but I don't love it. So I'm going to leave the eye one off. And then we are going to add two little wrinkles on his chin. So then on his chin here, I'm just going to add like two quick little lines here, like so. Leaving a little space in between them so I can add a little shadow there. So this is the lines. That's all I'm doing. If you like them, great. If you don't, you can turn them off. So on your layer menu, just to kind of see what you think, you can zoom out, you can uncheck this layer, check it and turn it back on. I think it looks better with the lines, but you do what you prefer. You can always turn it off later after we're fully done too, to see what you think, but I'm going to leave them on. I am going to go back to my face layer and add a little shadow for my wrinkles. You can still do the shadow even if you end up turning your lines off, but if you're unsure on it, you can add a new layer right above our face layer here. Drag it to the top of our clipping masks. Make sure it's still set to a clipping mask, but it should be above our add clipping mask here. Okay, grab our fifth color on the second row. Switch back to our Flix brush under the spray paints category. Opacity still at 50, size really, really low at like 2%. And just underneath my wrinkles here on the bottom side, I'm just going to go over that multiple times with this darker color. But yeah, just picking my brush up as I go each time, just sticking kind of to the underside of it. And then same thing on the other one. So again, just picking it up multiple times and then you should see it start building up there. That just kind of adds a little bit of a wrinkle there or a little bit of a shadow there for those little wrinkles which just kind of makes him look a little chubbier and i think he looks cute okay so then our very very last step for our dog before we just finish our background is the lights on the antlers so let's go to our layer menu we are going to add a layer to the very very top of our layer menu we are going to switch back to our black color third one on the top row we are going to switch to our monoline brush under the calligraphy tab. We'll lower our size to like 10%. Okay, and we're just gonna start with like a little string. So I'm gonna zoom in on the left one here and essentially we're just gonna make this string and we're gonna go back through and erase the places where it goes behind the antlers. So for now, it's just gonna be one big squiggle in the front. So I'm gonna start on this like kind of main pointy, like the farthest one out here towards the top on one side. I'm going to start there. I'm going to go out and back in and around. Kind of like this is kind of how I'm starting. So each time I go out, I go past my furthest line. So I never want to stay just like inside because then we don't know where to erase at. So then from here, I'll go kind of this way, around this one, maybe around this one. Okay, just kind of zigzagging back and forth. When we get to the band here, we're just going to go down. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go down a little bit. I'm going to start just kind of right behind it and come up like this. Another kind of curved line. Again, we'll erase the excess later, but this just kind of looks like it's looping around. So then it'll come back up here, loop around, and then maybe it'll come up here and start going back through. So then we'll kind of go like this, or let's see, we'll kind of go We'll kind of come out. Maybe we'll go around this guy, go around this guy, go around this guy, and go around this guy, and then kind of come to an end again. So this is kind of what it looks like. I feel like there's a lot more going on on the left side than the right side. Maybe a little bit more going on, but that's okay. Something like this is good. So this is where we're going to start. Now we're going to grab our eraser also on the monoline brush. I ha I'll have it set to just 50%. And now we'll go through and erase. So I'm going to start on the left side here. My first line, I'm going to leave my second line where it hits our antler again. So basically it's like in front and then right where it hits my antler again, I'm going to start erasing there until we hit the other side of it where it comes back out. So that was where it went behind. It'll go in front again. Let's see, we'll have it go behind right here. So then it'll sneak behind. Okay, it'll come back out in front. 
It'll go behind here, in front, behind here, in front, till it wraps around, and then it'll go behind right here, and then maybe we'll see it stick out here. Um, but I don't really want it to go above my ear, so I'm going to erase that little part that's above my ear. So it went behind my ear, but in front of my antler. Okay, and then where it kind of loops around, we'll just erase anything that's on the head right there. And right here, we'll again just kind of cut it off on the antler so it's coming from behind. And then we'll get rid of that. And get rid of this. So then it should just kind of look like this. So it just comes from behind, loops in front, comes from behind, loops in front. Okay, so same thing here comes from behind. I'll just kind of clean that up. Okay, it'll loop in front. It'll go behind right here. It'll go in front. It'll go behind right here. It'll go in front, behind right here in front and then we'll have it go behind so i'll get rid of this other little bit okay so then this is what we are left with so now that we have our string laid down we're going to add the light so on our layer menu let's add a new layer we're going to again click on this n and change it to add again we'll grab our ninth color on the top row of the color palette and our monoline brush set to 100 percent Again, we're going to start on the top left side here. I'm just going to make a dot for each light bulb. So there's a dot. I'm going to go down, make another dot, go down, make another dot. So just kind of space them out pretty evenly. When they go behind, just pretend like I'll pretend that there's another one there. So then there will be another one here, 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 maybe one right there. So maybe one right here. Okay, behind. Maybe we don't see one at all there until we come back in front. Then maybe there's just like one on each of these. Okay, then we'll start again. Uh, I don't really want... Yeah, maybe we'll do four here. Then another one. So like this was just kind of a long line. I've never done like four in a row yet, but we'll do four in a row there because it's pretty long. So just do whatever you have space for. Then we'll do three. Then we'll do another... Uh, four maybe because like again we have less black showing over here but maybe we just have more lights so maybe something kind of like that okay same layer same color we're just going to switch our brush to the soft brush under the airbrushing category so find that we're going to set it really really low to like five percent maybe even a little lower, just depending. So somewhere between like four and 5%. We're gonna zoom in again on the left side and on each of these, just right where our light is, I'm just gonna touch and work in a small circle to kind of get a nice glow to each of them. So nothing too hard, like don't, you know, go too crazy, that's insane. <laughs> but just a nice light glow. So if yours are all getting too bright, maybe you just push a little harder than me. Just lower the opacity of your brush. Mine is at 100, but I'm just pushing really light for each one, just working in a small little circle to get a nice glow for each one. Okay, so then we'll zoom out and that is what our lights look like. So those look so cute. Just some nice little light fairy lights around his antlers. I don't know why he's so sad. He should be feeling festive, but he's not. But that's okay. So now we're going to add the stripes to the background. So there's lots of different ways that we could do this. We could make a rectangle, rotate it, duplicate it. But let's do something else. Let's go to our layer menu. Let's add a new layer. Uh, we'll just leave it ahead above our dog for now. We'll move it behind it when we're done. But new layer, we are going to click on it and turn on drawing assist. We're not going to use symmetry. 
We're instead going to go to the gear icon under canvas, under drawing guide, click the edit drawing guide. Switch it back to the 2D grid and then make sure assisted drawing is turned on in the bottom right. Grab our green bar and we're gonna rotate it quite a bit. So maybe about like this. So the green bar is like a little past our left corner. Okay. Let's just go ahead and leave the size of the grid where it's at and click done. Let's grab our white color, the second one in the top row, and our monoline brush under the calligraphy tab, still at 10% is fine. And let's just go through and make a bunch of rectangles. So essentially, or make a bunch of stripes. So essentially, I'm just going to pick a line to start on down in the bottom left corner here. I'm going to start outside my canvas. I'm going to draw on that line. I'm going to go over. Let's do three squares. Okay, and that's our first stripe. We'll fill that in. So I think three is good. You could do two if you wanted. But I'm going to do three. And I'm going to skip three. I'm going to make another one. You just need to make sure you can see your whole canvas. So that you can get the line to go all the way through. So then we'll do three more. Okay, and I'm not going to fill them in now. I'll do that at the end. But I'll go one, two, three more. I'm seeing like I didn't get quite to the end here, so I'm going to undo it and redo it. Okay, so do that till you get to the end, and then we'll go through and fill them all in. So I'm just going to start with my next one that I can that I know. So I'm skipping and I'm filling in this one. Then we can click this continue filling button at the top, and then you can just tap into each one after that to fill them in also. Okay, and then that is it for our striped background. So I'm going to go to my layer menu, drag it all the way to the bottom. This has been just getting trickier and trickier, I feel like. So let's see, let's close my group. That might help. Okay, then we're gonna click the end on this layer to open up our options and we're just gonna lower the opacity quite a bit. So it's kind of a faded stripe. So maybe around 40 or 50% somewhere in there. Let's go to our gear icon, turn off the drawing guide so we don't have to look at that anymore. So we can take in our picture a little bit better. There's one final step to just kind of get this all looking a little bit better is to add a slight shadow behind him. So on our layer menu, right above this white striped layer, add a layer right above that. Click the end on this layer and drag this up now instead to multiply. So find that layer style. Let's grab the last color on the top row of the color palette. I knew I would need to add another color. So that is what that spot is for. So that should be on your color palette. Last color on the top row. Switch to our soft brush under the airbrushing category. We'll set the size to like 10 to 15%. Opacity at 100. And we're just going to kind of loosely outline him. So I'm just going to kind of start roughly kind of outlining his body, his ears. When we get up to like the antlers here, like just very, very rough. Like no need to go around them each. Just kind of a little blur behind them of a shadow there. Same thing on the right side, like so. So just a nice kind of shadow here to help outline him and make him pop from our background a little bit. I like it like this, it's not too bad. It looks nice, but if we want to blend it a little bit better, we can go to our wand icon, click Gaussian Blur, and drag this up a little bit, not that much. <laughs> drag this up just a little bit to like maybe 10 to 15% to just kind of Blur the edges just a little bit so it looks a little bit more blendy. So do that if you wish to. If you think it's too dark, you can lower the opacity of this layer. If you want it to be darker, you can make a duplicate of the layer. Kind of whatever you wish to do. I might make mine a little bit darker. I might duplicate one. Click the M to open up my options and lower the opacity of the second one a little bit. So then I kind of get like one and a half layers or so. So do whatever you think looks good. 
but that completes our drawing today. So I hope you had fun. I hope that you like the way that yours turned out. I hope you maybe learned something new. So if you'd like to see more tutorials from me in the future, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I put stuff out every single week. We're doing Procreate tutorials. We're doing Dreams tutorials, both of those now. So look out for some more fun stuff coming soon. Also, if you want to check out my exclusive tutorials over on Patreon, again, that is linked in the description below. And then if you would like to share your drawing on Instagram, I would love to see it. So go ahead and post it and tag me so that I can check it out. And while you're there, go ahead and give me a follow so that you can see what I'm working on next. Thanks for watching.